when we first met, when um, we were little, um, my cousins now <laughs> lived on Twenty Third and Myrtle. I mean Monroe. Right, right. And we used to go over there on the weekends. And Derek used to throw rocks at me. Oh gosh. Oh, he he said bad. he don't remember. No way, no. Then we're all uh, little kids. <laughs> we were little then. Went out. Well, yeah. I mean, we like I said, we met in high school <clears throat> when uh, when she was. Coming down to East, you know, for uh, for that course, mm -hmm. and and like I say, so you know, I mean, we're all in high school. I'm 16, she's 15, so we ch chatted on the phone for a little while, um, dated, broke up, dated, broke up. But you know, we're teenagers, so naturally, you know, you're not ready to settle in, settle into a relationship. So again, so we did that for several years actually. Mm -hmm. Dated, broke up, dated, broke up. So that started like I say when I was 16. And finally, when I was around 23, 24, is when we, you know, actually got back together a little bit before then, maybe around 21, 22. And we just kind of made it out of relationship you after that. You got the proposal. Well, uh, you know, I mean, proposal wasn't anything real big and fancy or elaborate because, you know, I've never been an artistic person. You see, so I didn't really have that ability to like put together something all fancy and you know and all that. So basically, went to uh, Zales and, and 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 purchased the ring and and uh, she came over to the house. It was around the holidays and and uh, that is when I asked, you know, hey, you know, will you marry me? You know, and she said yes. So it was, it was, but first of all, no. Well, I said, you have to ask my dad. Well, you naturally have to ask the father first, you know, make sure he's okay. And uh, and I remember one thing distinctly <clears throat> that her father, Mr. Jones, said is that if you're not going to take care of her, send her back home. And she's never been back home. He still writes letters and sends me flowers every other day. Pushing everybody else. How we make it last I tell them I still, he still, we still We go through problems Just like everybody else Oh, the wedding It was nice Um whew. The wedding It was uh, a tearjerker yeah, and The wedding, as a matter of fact Was at the old memorial Which is now the outreach church we got married there yes. by Reverend T. B. Baker. Do you love most about Derek? Oh gosh, do I have to tell it all now? <laughs> Derek's uh, compact. He's a man of his word. Um, he very seldom gets mad. Um, I love that I can sit and talk to him. And you know how some women are scared to talk to their husband about things? Well, I can talk to my husband about anything without him blowing up or whatever. Even if I messed up, I can go and tell him, and he's like, I got you, babe. Derek always has my back. He calls it Team Tara. Mm -hmm. Team Richardson. Mm -hmm. I love Tara for many reasons. I mean, seriously, um, it starts with her, her friendship, you know, her uh, being genuine, her heart, her kindness, um, her affection. You know, there, there's several attributes, you know, that I can give. But, you know, again, it's just her being hurt, being Tara. you give to a couple that's been married for two or three years that are just now entering into kind of the stride of being married? I would say at that time things have not yet smoothed out yet. You know, you're still having some bumps in the road. You're still learning each other, each other. so to speak. Yes. Um, but continue to trust in each other. Continue to believe in each other, continue to support each other. The future hold for the Richardsons. What, what's in store? What's, what's next? We're going to retire and stand up in front of Walmart 
And greet everybody. How you doing? <laughs> well, see, that's, that's what she's <laughs> going to do. I am not going to be no one's greeter. But for right now, what's in store for us, or what the future I hope holds, is that, again, we continue to have a good life together, a good long life. We've been married 31 years. Uh, on 32. Our, 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 our prayer is that God gives us another 31 years. And But on top of that, you know, we're focused on bettering ourselves, bettering our health. I mean, I have fallen in love with her all over again, uh, getting stronger uh, physically, health-wise, spiritually. And then again, you know, in, in, in maybe 10 years or so, we're able to shut it down from working every day and retire and just have that, that luxury of being with each other and, and doing other things. So so that, that's, that's what we're kind of focusing on right now is, is getting everything set up for the future. So, absolutely. Beautiful.